Hey, this is Mr. Aiden from MrAiden.com. We're going to be going through the 2021 AP Chemistry Free Response number 6. If you haven't checked out my website, make sure you head over there and take a look at it. Uh, in this four-point problem, we're going to be starting off with, uh, you can see we have two substances that are white powders. We have calcium sulfate and we have lead 2 sulfate. And it says, A says the student tests electrical conductivity of each solid, observes that neither con solid conducts electricity. Describe the structures of the solids that account for their inability to conduct electricity. And you can see that term structures is very important. I'm going to, uh, to type this out, my answer, and uh, hopefully this helps. You can see our calcium sulfate, our calcium sulfate, and our lead sulfate are both ionic solids, aren't they? They both have fixed lattice structures of positive 2 and negative 2 ions, or you could say particles. Uh, these fixed particles do not conduct electricity. And why don't they conduct electricity? Because there is a there is no free flow of ions. Uh, one would have to melt these solids in order to have the positive and negative ions flow to conduct electricity. And you can see that is my full answer is they're both ionic solids. And we want to take a look at the structures of the solids, the structures of solids that account for their inability as they have fixed lattice structures of positive 2 and negative 2. They're not flowing. There's no free flow of the ions. And you can see, then it says the student places calcium sulfate in a beaker of water, places lead sulfate in another beaker of water. Student stirs, measures conductivity. They find out that the calcium sulfate is higher than the conductivity in the lead sulfate, which compound is more soluble in water. And so you can see right away, we know the calcium sulfate, the calcium sulfate solid is more soluble in water. We always want to make that determination. And now we have to explain it. We have to justify it, okay? Which means some of that, some of that ionic compound, and I'm going to kind of finish my guy there. Some of that ionic compound must be dissolving in the polar water in order to have the calcium with a positive 2 charge and the sulfate with the negative 2 charge. Sorry, I'm going to negative 2 charge. freely flow to conduct electricity. Since the PB SO4, the lead sulfate solid place in the water does not conduct electricity tri electricity as well. It must not be very soluble and still be a fixed lattice for the most part. And so that's uh, a full answer. You can see we wanted to justify our answer based upon the conductivity test. We did that. We, we told that the conductivity was greater. Therefore, it must be dissolving more in water. It must be dissociating at a greater percentage there. And then they ask us to, we have the calcium sulfate, and this kind of gave away uh, exactly what our uh, letter A was. You can see this fixed lattice of positives and negatives. You can see the calcium sulfate. Some of it is dissolved. Now we want less of it to be dissolved. Now take a look at how many particles I have. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 total particles, which means I want at least 12 particles here and you can see I'm going to do another fixed lattice here. I'm going to do the same number of particles. Now only two of these particles are broken up or dissociated. Only some less ions are dissolved, which means there's less conductivity. Less conductivity. Okay.
And then it says the student attempts to increase the solubility. So we want to increase the solubility. Now this is a final topic, say equilibrium, if you know about MrAid.com. This is Le Chatelier's principle, and we want to take a look at our equilibrium reaction. Our calcium sulfate breaks up into calcium ions that are aqueous and sulfate ions that, that are aqueous. And we added H2SO4. So we added a common ion. We added a common ion. So adding that H2SO4 aqueous is adding a common ion, that SO4 minus 2. It's adding a common ion, which according to, according to Le Chatelier's principle, Le Chatelier's principle. Uh, Le Chatelier's principle says if we add this sulfate ion, if we add the sulfate ion, it's going to shift the reaction to the left, producing more calcium sulfate calcium sulfate. It's using the calcium ions to make more calcium sulfate, more precipitate, which means it is going to, uh, to, to not increase the solubility. Okay, It's not increasing the solubility. It's not breaking it down more and more. Okay, It's actually decreasing the solubility. It's making it more of a precipitate. It's decreasing the solubility. And so that is explaining the observation is because of Le Chatelier's principle right there and the common ion. That's question number six on the 2021 AP Chemistry exam. Hope that helped. I'll catch you for number seven.